Hello, my precious Bernard and Juliet. You can't even begin to imagine how far from Paris I found myself this November. And these are not exotic warm countries. You wouldn't believe it. I'm in St. Petersburg. I have only been here four days, but can't wait to share my stories with you. The history of my journey dates back to one autumn evening during a family dinner. My parents told me the story of how they met there, and I wanted to see everything for myself. I discovered that a free e-visa can now be issued via the internet. I filled out an application on the website. I selected my country, entered my email address, created a password, and attached my photo. That's it. Four days later, I got my visa in my mail. My parents were very surprised that I got an e-visa so quickly and wished me a wonderful trip. True, my mother had been slightly worried that it was already autumn and cold, and she gave me a warm scarf and hat. The following day, I passed through passport control at Pulkovo Airport. I presented a pre-printed visa and voila, the whole city was in front of me. Look at the photo. Today, I visited the Hermitage. There was no queue, I bought a ticket and quickly moved to the halls. And now I am standing in front of the famous painting, Madonna and Child, which I have long yearned to see. I met some new friends near this painting. They are Petersburgers, very hospitable and friendly people. And since then, we've been hanging out together. Thanks to my new friends, I've found out what usually remains hidden from the ordinary tourist eyes. And now they are waiting for me. We are going to watch the Festival of Life at the Palace Square. Pack your bags, exchange your office chairs for airline tickets. Soon, we will fly here with you. Our hero, George, hasn't described even half of all the emotions that overwhelmed him in this city. I suggest you continue to find out the details of his entire journey. Despite the changing weather of St. Petersburg, our hero walked a good deal around this city that has a whole host of beautiful and romantic destinations to offer. And he even made a wish by throwing a coin to the cat figurine on Malaya Sadovaya Street. As soon as he began to feel a little cold, he dropped into a cafe to warm himself up. And there, he was exposed to a truly Petersburg delicacy, delicious donuts with aromatic coffee. St. Petersburg is one of the most romantic cities in the world. George took a piece of love in his heart when he left, and with a firm intention to come back here yet again. Believe me, just like our hero, you would also want to return to this city, and as soon as possible. This time, George's friends, Bernard and Juliet, joined him to fly to St. Petersburg. No one printed visas, and again, everything went perfectly. As well as meeting up with old friends, they made lots of new ones too. St. Petersburg surprises in different ways at different seasons of the year. In winter, you can go ice skating and enter into the spirit of the Christmas Star Fire Festival in Strelka on Vasilyevsky Island. George invited his parents to go with him on his next trip. They have long wanted to show him their favorite places in this magical city. Autumn, winter, spring, the city will always find something to surprise you. Watch the premiere or a classic performance at the Mariinsky Theater and be sure to spend an unforgettable evening in one of the restaurants and taste the dishes of the famous St. Petersburg cuisine. The most cherished dream of George has become a reality in St. Petersburg more than anywhere else. Visit the same cafe that was regularly visited by the great poet Alexander Sergeyevich Pushkin and you are sure to agree that in such a place, the cakes are much tastier. Every day in St. Petersburg is special. Be inspired by its history and architecture, its charming cats, bridges, and friendly inhabitants, its incomparable dishes and great palaces. Come here at any time of the year to feel unforgettable emotions and the accomplishment of your desires. Welcome to St. Petersburg.